What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. If it is your first time tuning in, please smash the subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today we're taking the Porsche 996 Carrera to get an inspection. We're going to get an inspection and prepare for a track. It's going to be my first time ever taking a car on a track. So in order to do that, they do a safety inspection on your brake pads, tires, fluids, etc. Make sure no oil leaks no oil is leaking or coolant is leaking so I will keep you guys in tune and learn with you and teach you what is going on and what you need to do to prepare for a track stay tuned all right guys so we're here at Auto Works in uh, Clifton New Jersey they are sponsored to track experience this is the tech inspection form they just do it, go over the exterior body seat belts engine compartment Leaks, coolant, all that stuff. Brakes, tires. Brakes are brand new on this car. Tires are okay. Suspension's good. Exhaust, and then obviously they check over the gas cap and anything like that. Now we're gonna go through the brake fluid, make sure it's clean, and uh, should be all checked out. Good to go. Just the shop, guys. They do all sorts of crazy stuff. Porsches. Got a Viper sitting over here. All right, guys, we are doing a full brake flush, brake fluid fr flush, and then we're gonna adjust the camber in the front and do a more track focused camber on the front so we don't chew up the outside of the rims or outside of the tires. And then, of course, it'll probably handle a little bit better on the track, too, so it should be pretty exciting. We're gonna get underneath this thing for the first time. Tires are okay, pads are all good. And uh, after so many years of brake fluid, it attracts water in there, so we don't want any loss of brake pedal, brake pads, or brake pressure when we're racing this thing on the track. It's all dirty, huh? Yeah, you can say that. doing is draining all the fluid out of the reservoir before we put fresh stuff in. Yep. Pump it all the way through our calipers. That shit is dirty. It's not just that it's dirty, this is old. Uh, this is something called AT Type 200 Blue, Super Blue. Okay. They haven't made this fluid in like five, six years. So it's probably a leftover batch from that they just poured in like two, three years ago. Right. Cool. And the previous owner didn't really track, I think he said he tracked it once or did a couple of rallies, nothing crazy. As you can uh, tell, you took good care of it. No, the car's in fairly good condition, believe it or not. Very good condition. This is the first time underneath my Porsche 996 and as you can tell it's looking pretty good under here oil pan protector no engine no oil leaks trans looks good everything, everything is nice and dry under here Beautiful under here. Absolutely beautiful. 
There's our oil filter. Oil is good on this car, it's just changed a couple thousand miles ago. guys so we just went ahead took this thing for a quick ride reset the suspension since it was up in the air and now we're gonna adjust the camber on the front struts a couple degrees in and uh, realign this for a track spec and it's all gonna be within a spec that's not gonna harm the car on the road so if I want to drive the car with this alignment after the track it should be okay There's another Carrera, just like mine. Just has a uh, alone engine. Actually, this is a 997, but it's the same engine. You'll notice that these have rubber pads over here, so they don't scratch, they don't the, scratch the rim up. And they also grab onto the lip, so they don't scratch the lip. Cool. What's that? This one? This is the, uh, one. The crack cylinder's on the other side, though. This is not the side that's cracked. The other sure. side has a crack in it. What are you waiting for? Some parts, or? Uh, no, the machine shop needs to free up. Because of COVID, everything's been backed up, and yeah. we're missing the custom order piston. So they just re the walls, or? Cutting them out and putting brand new liners on. Yeah, I guess once they crack, they crack. You can't rehome them. Yeah. They literally, the whole thing is cracked all the way through. Shit. That's just from heat. Heat, age, bad metal work, Fun stuff. Ow. Just the rear left. Everything's off. Everything's off? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> this <gonna> be fun. <laughs> that comes like that from the factory. It'll give you a little bit of adjustability, you know? Yeah. However, I just blindly did it because I maxed it out. But when you do these cars, something with the machine you get right. Right. That little adjustment will help the tire tread on the outside. It's gonna help the tire wear on the outside, but it's gonna give you a lot more ability to turn. Your car after this change will significantly different to you. Yeah. Won't feel as loose. No one here. Yeah. I can feel like even at higher speeds, I can feel that.
guys. So the following clip is something that was done with the permission from myself. So I hope you guys can enjoy it. None of the driving is condoned. All drivers are professional in this video. So enjoy. Drive it like a stone. Right. But if I'm touching and nothing's happening, that means I have to either uh, manipulate my feet, 
with the throttle and the gas pedal uh, brakes, right? Uh, or I gotta do something else with the car to compensate for what's going on. Very cool. So those are things that you learn. A lot of seat time at the track. Guys, I just want to leave you off with a good note. The car did fantastic as you saw in the last clip. And since we tweaked the tune on the suspension, I will say the car feels a million times better on the highway, much tighter on the front. And then of course, the car is much tighter around corners and feeling a lot more confident with the adjusted camber and the adjusted rear end than what it was from the factory setting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited for the track. This really just allowed to me to open my eyes to a whole new world. I learned a lot from just the one little drive we just had. And uh, I'm pretty excited for the track. It's a whole new venture for me. So I will keep you guys in tune with this one. Hope you enjoy. Please like, share, subscribe. Follow me at Kyle Pants if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.